Uh, I'm Paul Burton from Phoenix Public Speaking. Today we're going to talk about how to blur a photo to make your Zoom background look just a little bit more realistic and just a little bit more professional. So Zoom has a great little built-in feature. If you go up under Preferences in Zoom, you'll see you have this little menu option of virtual backgrounds. And Zoom gives you some built-in backgrounds, everything from outer space to the beach, which are kind of neat. Virtual backgrounds are fun. They're also a great way if you don't have a particular background in your home that you want to show or you want just a little bit more privacy that way. I really liked this background of this modern looking room. But one of my friends and blog subscribers, Bart Butler, sent in a little tip that I thought I would share with you. Bart pointed out that all the objects in this photo look just a little bit sharp. The lamp and the plant there and so forth are just kind of crystal clear and sharp. And of course, things don't look like that in real life when they're in the background. They're blurred just slightly. They're a little out of focus. So I created this photo. You'll notice the plant and the lamp. I'll go back and forth so you can see the difference. Look at the plant up here on the left. So that's the sharp original photo. This is the slightly blurred photo to give it just a little bit more of a realistic look. So I'm going to show you a couple of easy ways that you can blur a photo and maybe make your backgrounds look just a little bit more professional, a little more realistic that way as well. So first, time, first thing we're going to do is use another great feature in Zoom, which is share the screen. We're going to launch a program called Canva. There's a free version and a paid version of Canva. Canva is a great little design tool that helps super amateurs like me design things. So Canva actually has some built-in Zoom backgrounds that you can pick that are already here. So you could pick a Zoom photo and you could use that one or you could just delete that one and upload and resize your own photo. So the size is actually 1920 by 1080 pixels if you needed to get an exact size. So Canva lets you do that by, you can select your own size. We're gonna go ahead and use a photo that, that they had already provided us. So what we're gonna do now is go into our filter, I'm sorry, our adjust. And you'll notice we've got a little tool here that says blur on it. So we're just going to take that down a couple of notches, blur that just a bit. And now all we have to do is download it, click in here. And then we can go back into Zoom Preferences. You'll see the little plus sign here allows us to upload. So we can add the image. Go over to our downloads folder. Upload that image. And there she goes. So very easy, very slick. If you don't have Canva or don't want to use Canva for some reason, I'm going to also show you how you can blur a photo in PowerPoint. Okay, so we're going to take the same image before it was blurred, the sharp version. I'm going to launch PowerPoint, pull the image into PowerPoint, double click on it so that we get our picture options. So then go over here to picture corrections. And we're just going to take the sharpness. down about 40% here to give us that blurred image. Then we're just going to right click, save as picture, which is going to default to a PNG format. Just give that a name. And save it as room. And we'll just go back into Zoom. 
any preferences, virtual background, add image. We're moving this now on our desktop. Take a look for the one that we changed. And we'll now add that one with a slightly blurred background as well. So this is kind of a nice little trick. We're all living in the virtual world now and we want that extra little edge. And if we want just to look a little bit more professional and realistic than maybe some other presenters, nice little extra tip. So thanks, Bart Butler, for giving us that. we are uh, love to hear your tips. If you've got tips and tricks about how to present a virtual environment, please share them in the comment section below. Thanks a lot.